Welcome to Magento 2 Admin Tutorial and my name is Alex Lukianov and today we're going to review content, content section. So in previous videos we have discussed dashboard, sales, products, customers, marketing and now we add the content section. Content section have two subsections, its elements and design. Elements have pages, blocks and widgets which used to be at the Magento CMS menu at Magento 1. And design have themes and schedule. Let's look more detail at each of it. Pages. So this here we have all our CMS pages in Magento. From, from the, what we can see, new features, what we have here, it's quick edit. So you can change title, URL key, layout, and if it's enabled or disabled. So it's kind of cool. And if you want, you can select and you can edit or preview our page. Preview, it's actually a new feature in Magenta 2. So now we can look at the preview of our page and know what we're getting in result. So let's go back. So let's look at the CMS page options. So we have page title, URL key, it will be URL of our page. We can select what store views will be page enabled for, and we can disable or enable page. At the content section, we can specify content headings, we can hide or show editor and put our custom HTML or format text with yes, this nice text editor. At the design section, we can change the layout for our page. It can be one column page, two columns with left bar, two columns with right bar, three columns or empty. If you want to specify some custom layout update XML string, we can put it over here. Also, for this page, we can set custom design from some date to another date, and we can specify what will be theme and layout if you want to change our, our page layout. And also we can set custom layout update XML for this period. It's useful when you're going to use some custom CMS pages for promotions or any other advertisements. Metadata. This is SEO related section. Here we can put page keywords, we can put them comma separated, and we need to put page description. It will help our search to search engine to find our CMS pages. And then we can delete page, reset, save and continue, or just save it. Let's go to the blocks. Blocks menu have pretty similar quick edit feature, where we can edit title, identifier, status of block, or we can use extended advanced actions and edit or look at the details. Details is new feature as well for Magenta 2. If we click details, it doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> but originally, I think it should show us details of our CMS block. Let's try another one. I use Magenta 2 with demo data, and seems like there is still some bugs and some issues with Magenta 2. So we will expect it will work in future the next future release. So let's click edit. Here we can see block title, block identifier. This way it, it should be unique for each block it in our store views and store view for our block. We can enable or disable block and also same way as we used to have for CMS pages, we can put custom HTML or we can put custom test and format it. We can insert magenta widgets or variables in these blocks. The next section is widget. As a widget, we can add or use existing Magenta widgets. So, for example, women's left menu. This is CMS static block. We specify what package it will be available for, Magenta Luma. We set widget title, it will be women's left menu. We specify what store views should use this widget sort order, this is in case we have few widgets at the same page, and we add layout updates, we specify where we want to see our widgets, 
It can be anchor page, non-anchor category pages, all product pages, or some specified, specified specific product types. Or it can be all generic pages or speci specified CMS pages or page layout. And in our case, we have it at the anchor categories. We can specify all categories or set category IDs. And we need to put container. So in our case, at the left, it will be Cider Main. There are a lot of different containers available in Magento 2. So you can, when you will make your first widget, you can play around, choose different one of them, and see how it looks like. And then you can find out one which you like better. And widget options. For each widget, we may have different options. This one will have woman left menu block. And this is our actual static block from previous menu item. It was content blocks. And here we can specify which, which block will be shown at this widget. When we add new widget, we can edit this value. So we can specify widget type, which can be CMS page link, CMS static block, catalog category link, catalog new product list in case you want in the list of new products, catalog product link, catalog product list, orders and returns, recently compiled products or recently viewed products. And also, if you will have custom widgets, you can specify, they will be appear here too. And there, we can specify a theme. After this, we can edit widget options. So, for example, for recently compiled products, widget options, number of product to display. So each widget may have its own options. So next text section, which we're going to review, it's themes, design themes. And themes, we have all themes for Magento 2, which installed at our store. We can click on it, we can see general what theme parts, what is theme title, and theme preview image. And we have schedule. So this is feature which used to be at Magento 1 as well. It was, it was under system designs and now it has its own menu under context section. Here we can make new design change. For example, if there's holidays or any other special dates where you can for one day or for a few days change all your store design. Here you can select what store you want to change design with and you select actual design which you're going to use and date when it will be active on your website. Once you do it, you save it and your store will have different design. So we can select Magenta Blank for example and put today's February 22nd to 23rd. We can save and now if you will update our store, we, will have, we should see different design. design. As you can see, it changed. And it's the default design. If you want to stop it, we just go and read this design. So this is all content section. I think it was pretty small and easy to understand and a lot of things more similar to Magento 1. So hope it will help you with your store configuration. You will be able to use pages, blog and widgets. Write us any questions which you want to know, we'll be able to answer you or make another video with more deep explanation. Thank you and have a good day.